Hey Taurus, it's Illum Astrology and Sahara Stars doing your December 2018 tarot reading. I'm so sorry for the delay. I've been running behind on a lot of stuff. So I'm just catching up right now. So this will be for the first or for the next three weeks of December 2018 for you guys. Please keep in mind these are general readings. Please listen to your rising sign or your moon sign if this does not resonate with you. Um, these are general messages, so often the signs don't matter because they're general readings, but for some of you, this may have happened already. For some of you, this could be your current situation. And for some of you, this will be coming up in the future. So I'm sending you guys positive energy for all the best for the month of December, 2018. I hope that you guys are doing awesome. So let's take a look at what's in store for Taurus, sun, moon, or rising. Again, please listen to your rising or moon sign if this does not resonate with you. Taurus. All right, overseeing your reading. So let's take a look here and see what's going on. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. This is an air sign, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. These are general readings, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. That's going to be prevalent in this December for you guys. Some of you, this could be a love interest. For some of you, this can be a business partnership or somebody that you're involved in that's going to play a role in December. So let's take a look. All right, we got the five of wands. This is tit for tat, frustrations, arguments, little minor arguments, petty arguments, but they're frustrations nonetheless. Um, so this could be frustrating situations, circumstances. It doesn't really necessarily have to be specifically you fighting with somebody, but you being frustrated with other people's nonsense. Okay. Um, and some of you, it could be that you were fighting with an air sign, sun, moon, or rising, Gemini, uh, Aquarius, or Libra, um, having a tit for tat or petty arguments over something here. So in your past position, you have the nine of pentacles. This is the woman who has it all, but it doesn't have to necessarily be a woman. This is you feeling content and happy with where you are, with your accomplishments, being able to do what you want, feeling free. It can be the single woman's card, um, but it's really just feeling stable feeling stable okay so i do see some petty arguments and stuff going on it could be with some woman who has been you work with it could be a co-worker it could be with an air sign person this person could be part of this uh sun moon or rising either way um, but there's been some vague circumstances or some confusion in your life okay something that you've been uncertain about you didn't have clarity on it's probably the situation here um, there's some things that you're not really aware of or that are hidden from you right now. Uh, and then we have the four of swords, which is just being done and over with, finished, tired, exhausted, burnt out, and just over. Okay. This is also taking a time out, a breather, like, oh, I just need a breath of fresh air. I just need to relax. I need to chill out. So some of you that have been going through this frustration desperately needed this breather, but you're coming out of that now. Okay. And if, if it was arguments or fighting or frustrations with anybody here um, regarding confusing situations or circumstances which you just have no clue about, you took a time out and now you're coming out of that. And then we have you avoiding a disaster, but also not letting go of something. Um, and something's not quite over yet. Okay, the tower is in reverse, which is definitely about an ending or about a sudden explosion of some sort, an illumination, a realization, um, also something that dramatically changes your path in your life, okay, that is not quite happening yet. So for some of you, this situation's not quite over yet, but it will be ending, and it's going to be ending um, pretty dramatically. And then you got the Four of Wands, which is a happy relationship, or a happy marriage, or a party card, or a happy card of you having good times. So it's interesting here. I do feel like there's been some battle, there's been some frustrations, there's been some aggravations, there's been some confusion around something, and it could be around somebody, revolving around somebody. It doesn't have to be an air sign, but it could be their sun, moon, or rising, um, that you guys may have been in a business relationship, a coworker, an associate, a love relationship, um, that you wanted a happy relationship with, and some of you aren't letting go because you were happy in this situation, and you're not letting go quite yet. And for some of you, this could be the other person that's not quite letting go either. Some of you will be invited to a wedding, a party, an invitation somewhere, something like that. Um, and for some of you, this can be an engagement or marriage card, happy home card. But because it's coming with the tower in reverse, it's like somebody doesn't want to let go of something, a situation, or the transformation hasn't occurred yet and into the happiness. So for those of you involved in a love relationship, let's take a look at this Queen of Swords. 
Can you tell me more about the Queen of Swords for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising for December 2018? Please give me the most accurate messages regarding the Queen of Swords for Taurus. Okay, so this person's been holding on to their heart. They haven't been emotionally expressive. They've been difficult to get through to. They might be holding on to their money. They might be experiencing financial troubles. They might be, um, it, it could be a boss that's not giving you the money that you want. It could be a relationship in which you are trying to move forward, but it's, there's situations you guys have been fighting. There's aggravations. There's confusion surrounding it. Um, and this person's not expressing themselves perhaps how you would like them to. Um, remember, they can be any sign. Yeah, and I see them as being blocked off, defensive, um, or difficult to get through to. They can be any sign, but their sun, moon, or rising might be in an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And there's been some frustration surrounding this person or the situation, okay? And you took a time out, and now you're coming out of that, and you're just trying to avoid a disaster right now. So you're still hanging on a little bit, or they're hanging on to you, but it looks like there's going to be a celebration coming. Can you tell me more about the Four of Wands for Taurus? The most accurate message for the Four of Wands of Taurus. Wow, we got the air sign again. Okay, so some of you that are involved with an air sign, okay, because it's showing up prevalently here. Now, please remember that this is not going to resonate with all of you, so listen to your rising sign and your moon sign for your messages might be there. But for some of you that are involved with an air sign person, it looks like they're going to be coming through. It looks like they're going to be coming through and you could be invited to a party, an engagement party. Um, it could be that you're going to a, a wedding. Um, it could be anything like that with this person or this person may be proposing to you as well. It could be any one of those situations because these are general readings. So it does look like there's something they're going to be avoiding a disaster or an ending with you or you're avoiding ending with them and it looks like it's going to pan out now this could be their sun moon or rising they could be any sign okay um, but it looks like things are going to be going well at the end of december for you guys or for the situation now if this is a work situation you're going to be going to some sort of party it could be a christmas party because it is christmas coming up um, and you could meet a new air sign person that's going to be uh, prevalent in your life could be a relationship a new love relationship which I feel too um, but it also could be somebody that you're going to this party with and for some of you it could be a reunion with this person okay so let's take a look wow let's get some focus cards for Taurus Sun Moon or Rising what should they be focusing on for December 2018 or what can they expect all right so we got savoring the pleasure I fully embrace bliss in my life. This is relax, take care of yourself, love yourself, nurture yourself, beautify yourself. Um, and then it's interesting. We got another, I think Leo got this, listening to your heart. I trust the messages I receive from my heart. These are your two cards there for, um, let's get a love message for you guys. Taurus, those born under the sun, moon, or rising sign of Taurus. Um... Yeah, it does look like this air sign person. Okay, it could be a business person, a work person that's been not giving you the money they want, blocking you off, being difficult to get through to. For those of you that are in love with an air sign person, um, they may have been holding on to their heart, not expressing themselves, defending themselves, or you might have been doing this to them. Um, but it looks like there's going to be an overall, there's been some arguments some frustrations, some stuff like that, but it's all clearing up at the end. And you're going to have an offer, a party, a celebration, something happening there that's positive. You're avoiding a disaster. And then, wow, I think Leo got this too. Physical touch is important. I don't know if you guys are involved with a Leo but, or an air sign, anything like that, but I think this was it. Um, for some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. Let's get one more for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. If this does not resonate with you guys, please listen to your Rising or your Moon sign. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So if this is a love situation relationship, it looks like you guys have been through some stuff together or you're working some stuff out together but things are going to work out it's going to actually turn around um somebody's going to try to avoid this breakup from happening because the tower's in reverse or the separation 
and move forward. And for some of you, it's just you've been having some little tit for tat stuff with with somebody. It could be a work environment or love relationship. Um, and you've took a time out, but it looks like this air sign person, sun, moon, or rising is going to be coming through for you. Um, and for some of you single and looking for somebody, this air sign person looks very prominent here. Okay. So let's get another general message for you guys. Taurus, sun, moon, or rising for December, 2018. Please give me the most accurate messages for Taurus, sun, moon, or rising. All right, you guys got illusion. Embrace the truth. So if there's any illusions or things that just aren't making sense, I see that here with some uncertainty going on. Seek the truth. Seek the truth with all your heart. And then you got dragon. Discover your courage. Go after what you want. Go after what you want, what you need. Sometimes we get what we want, but not what we need. The dragon says, discover your courage and go get it. How lovely, Taurus. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and would like to, please click the bell so you can get notified of my uploads. If you'd like your own personal reading or to read all about astrology, you can visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. I write about all the astrological aspects and all that stuff so you can get your chart with another person's chart or your own and learn all about yourself or someone else. So again, I'm sending you positive energy if I don't see you before Christmas. Merry Christmas to you all and I'm sending you lots of love for all the best. Thanks so much for joining me. Until next time.